Oh, hello again and welcome to the VK6 CS Amateur Radio Channel and I'm sure there are many out there that would say and you are welcome to it. Um, I've heard uh, people saying on the air they've heard F calls using radios that can't be set to 10 watts output. So they must be running excessive power. Hmm, well maybe. Maybe not. Maybe they've bought an attenuator. Uh, I've got a couple of attenuators here. I don't have a 10 dB one, but um, you see these two uh, these two attenuators here. They're both rated at 100 watts. So you could have a 100 watt valve radio, you could have a 200 watt valve radio, or whatever. And you could use you could use an attenuating device like this. Now this one here, as you can see, 20 dB of attenuation, and it's rated at get a glare off it, 100 watts. And you can see how big that attenuator is, there's my, uh, there's my hand for scale and uh, there's another one here, what's this one? I'm pretty sure, we, I'm pretty sure we've got a 10 dB one around somewhere but um, I can't, uh, can't, put my, can't put my finger on it at the moment. This one is, I'm holding the camera, it's not on a tripod so I apologise for the wobbling around. This one's 30 dB at uh, 100 watts. So, so there you go. So I suspect our 10 dB one is around the place somewhere. Someone's probably using it. Um, so this one's uh, 20 dB and this one's 30 dB. Um, uh, they're both, uh, as I say, rated at 100 watts. So if you're on F-Call and you've got a radio that um, you, know, you, you have to tune up and you can't get less than 150 watts out of it or 200 watts out of it, uh, you can get an appropriate um, um, uh, attenuator. Uh, if you've got a if you've got a hundred watt radio, you get a ten dB attenuator, give you ten watts. So, uh, and you can get um, you can get attenuators with higher power ratings than this as well. So, uh, just uh, just for your information, if you're new to radio and you're uh, um, you've just got yourself a, a foundation license your, your output is limited to 10 watts and you've got a radio that you can't set to you know uh, less than the 100 watts uh, you can uh, you can get an off-the-shelf attenuators that will uh, make you all nice and legal so there you go as you can see there that's it an attenuator, basically it's an attenuator with a nice big heat sink on it, dissipate the um, dissipate all that all that lovely power uh, that you won't be able to radiate legally until you upgrade your license. So there we go. High power attenuators. I hope you found that uh, interesting. Oh did I point out of course being an attenuator of course it's got a connector on each end. Should have pointed that out. So you put that you put that in line with your uh, coaxial feeder. So the coax comes out of the radio, connect on there, and that end there will just uh, continue on to your uh, antenna. And of course they're both the same. There you go. Both got a they both got uh, both got a connector at each end. So there we are high power attenuators. Uh, hope you found that interesting or informative or both as always. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you next time.